traders welcome back to another trading view tutorial series whereby we teach you all of the key features about our platform whether you're the most advanced trader ever or someone just starting out in this video is going to talk about how you download all of the chart data in front of you so we're on tradingview.com we got to our charts it looks like this and did you know depending on our time frame the indicators we have the symbol we're looking at we can then download all of this information to our chart so for example what we're going to do here is just click the drop down arrow and it quite literally says export chart data we're going to click export chart data and now this wonderful pop-up appears right here it says all information from the selected chart including the symbol and indicators will be saved to a csv file so two key things to take away from this it's not only going to download the symbol data now we're on a daily chart here of voo but it's also going to download the indicators that you have on the chart keep in mind here it says 1d we're on a daily chart if we switch this to say one month it would say one month but let us go back to this export chart data so you can just really understand the full walkthrough because the next step is your time format that is your unix timestamp or iso timestamp the choice is yours depending on the program or computer you're using because in a csv document which is what we use for excel or google sheets or other uh, you know pieces of software like that they will decode the time format in different ways so make sure you pick the time format that's good for you then click export you can see right here download started to see it press this necessary hotkey now that we've downloaded it we can go open it up but before we open it up we want to show you something very interesting and that is the fact that we are going to add indicators to this chart on the left so let's see if we can find our moving average ribbon uh, let's see here let's just type in ribbon moving average ribbon wonderful we've added it to our chart here it says VOO or Vanguard S&P 500 ETF We've got all these indicators here and then here's just a simple line chart of amazon and we are utilizing the multiple chart layout well now if you click the drop arrow right here and then click export chart data pay close attention to the fact that you can pick the chart that you want to download so if you just want to download amazon make sure you have amazon selected pay close attention it says one week amazon's on one week recall that our previous chart voo was on one day now we get to pick and choose also recall that we've added indicators to this chart so the indicators are going to be downloaded with us in the spreadsheet this works for all of the multiple chart layouts that you may have for this part of the video though let us go back to this specific chart and let us now go to tesla because we have actually screenshotted how these specific downloads might look to you so the one on the left here is us downloading the data from the Amazon chart. So you can see all we have here is a timestamp and a close. Now you're going to want to format this time to fit your computer and your necessary spreadsheet. You can do that just by right clicking on the cells and then having them updated accordingly. And then here's our closing price right here. So we've got Amazon one week and here's all of our weekly closing prices with the necessary date but now it's really important to pay close attention to this screenshot of Tesla which is similar to what we did at VOO which is that this one looks different because it has the indicators on it so we can see here is a monthly chart of Tesla we've got our timestamps which once again we can reformat our opening price high low close moving average number one moving average number two so we've got our moving average in average indicators which are part of the ribbon recall if you go look at the ribbon that's what it is it's called a moving average ribbon so it's got one two three four moving averages on it but in this example we did screenshot it to where it only shows two but if we were on our excel app and moved it to the right you'd see all the moving averages but really the demonstration here is to make sure you see how this data looks when you download it so now you know the ins and outs of exporting your chart data it's really as easy as getting the chart set up keep in mind daily chart weekly chart make sure you get the necessary zoom that you need we'll go back to voo for this it's on a daily let's go to weekly make sure that you have the chart formatted correctly with your necessary indicators then when everything looks good and when you're ready click the drop down and export the chart data now one really important thing to keep in mind here is that drawings can't be downloaded so if we added an arrow here and maybe we have a brush tool here 
Perhaps we even drew a horizontal line to represent some form of resistance at what might be a double top here. Well, the simple fact is if we download this, we're not going to be able to get the chart data for this arrow or this circle, nor is that maybe really something that people have wanted to number crunch. The key is you're downloading the specific symbol and its trading activity over this time frame and the chart you're looking at says 2018 along with the indicators on the chart. So we want to be very clear about that so that no one gets confused. In addition, there are more ways to download data than just simply downloading the data from the charts like this. Because if you head to tradingview.com, well, it is your lucky day from the standpoint that Hover your mouse over products, go to screeners, and for this tutorial, let's click stocks. And we can now create a custom screen and download that data as well. So the point here of this video is we've shown you how to download chart data with indicators or without indicators, utilizing a multiple chart layout. And now we're going to the screener. So you can download data from the necessary chart uh, stock screener or crypto screener, anything of the sort. As a quick example, we're going to click market cap, 2 billion to 10 billion. Revenue growth, let's go 25% above. Let's narrow this list down a little bit more and let's do PE ratios of zero and above to make sure we're looking at profitable companies. Now we have got, right before your eyes, 251 symbols listed, all here. We can click into them. We can reorder these columns as needed. Most of you already know this. We can sort them as needed. Let's do sort by market cap. We've also got these tabs that we can also, of course, click as well. But now here's where things get really important. That is the simple fact that you can download this data. This er arrow right here similar to manage layouts click that drop down appears ladies and gentlemen it says export screen results we're gonna click that we've got our message right up here that the download has started and we have now downloaded this into a CSV file now a few super important points to keep in mind depending on the tab you have selected here is what you are going to see in the CSV so we had extended hours open, see that? So in our downloaded CSV, these are the columns that we're going to have, this extended hour information, which means after hours or pre-market trading. Had we had performance open, we would have all of these performance numbers into our CSV file. Valuation, we'd have all the valuation metrics in our CSV file. But now what we want to do is show you how this looks. So we're actually going to go back to our charts because we have pasted an image on the Tesla chart of how this CSV looks. And here you are. Oh, actually, it's on the Apple chart. Let's go to the Apple chart. There it is. Perfect. So the Tesla chart is actually a demonstration of what we've already shown you. That's the chart downloads. This one, we have it saved to our chart of, of Apple, is a screener download. Look at the difference. You've got all of the symbols here from our specific screen. The symbol name, the price change, the one day gap change, the volume, the volume percentage change, the stock screener and the key date associated of when we downloaded this CSV file. And if we were on the CSV file, we could move this back and forth, up and down to have all 200 plus symbols right here before our eyes. But the point is that this is how you can download data on TradingView, either directly from the chart, as we've now shown you, export chart data, or from the screeners themselves to then go through screener data. Now keep in mind, at the bottom of the chart, there's the stock screener. You can click this. You can also click the drop down Forex screener or crypto pair screener. How about we click Forex screener for this video for this part of the video so you have a good feel for what we're about to do. Now let's go ahead and just click year to date performance. Let's click it again. So we've got 115 Forex pairs here with the best year to date performance. If you look at our filters, we don't have any turned on at the moment, but we are only looking at exotic, major and minor Forex pairs. We're not looking at all of them, so some pairs are excluded. That's why I don't see any huge numbers here. But regardless, we've now got our screen right here. We are charting while utilizing our screen. And if you pay close attention, there's a button that says export screener data to a CSV file. And that's right, ladies and gentlemen, click that. Download started. We are now grabbing that data as a CSV file. And that data is going to come with this symbol information and data that we're looking at. So make sure that you format your screen in the way that you want it to appear on your CSV file. 
Otherwise, it's going to look just like this, just in a CSV file. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the walkthrough of how to download data on your chart or in the screener and how it will look once you add it into your respective piece of software, whether it's Google Sheets, whether it is Microsoft Excel or something else of the sort. You can do a lot with CSV files. You can run code on it and so much more. But we hope that you learned something new here and that anyone interested in exporting data on TradingView now knows the two key ways to do that on the chart or in the screener. So thanks so much for watching and please let us know if you have any remaining questions below. Our help center has even more information and be sure to subscribe. Write us some comments. Our team reads all of your feedback we build for you. We add new features for you. So if you want to suggest something for us to build, trust me, we're going to read it and you just may see it on our platform someday. So thank you for watching and see you all by our next video.